What's up, Luigi gang? It's your favorite YouTuber here, Luigi. Back by popular demand, some more Tenchu 2 Mission Editor. The name of this level is called Ninja Building. Very creative, I know. I know. It took me forever to think of this. But keep in mind, I made these levels over 20 years ago. So some of these names might be kind of cringe. But it doesn't matter. My level making skills were... Mwah. Actually, they'd be so much better if this game would allow me to do so much more. But... I can only do so much with what it would allow me to do. So this is ninja building and I have to steal the enemy secrets. And I have no idea where those enemy secrets are. But I'm playing as a yummy. I'm waiting on this guy to do his little walk around. When I was making these levels, I would try to keep in mind what I would do if I was playing. And I would try to like troll myself, so. That's the thing. But I think the enemy secrets, I have to find like a scroll and then deliver it somewhere. So. Alright, dead end room. Thanks a lot, me. Of course I would check the first room out. Okay, there's a receptionist right there. Um, yeah. She's an innocent, so you can't kill them. It gives you like negative score and stuff. So, I need to be careful how I'm rolling. I, is, yeah, I thought I saw somebody over there. Um, let me, I know, yeah, I can get up on these lockers. It's cool because, like, <laughs> there's nobody up here. Like, you can't place enemies up here. So, it's always safe. It's always safe when you get up here. So, I probably don't have to take him out, but I just feel obligated to just to... So I feel safer. Come back over here. So I got him set up to troll me. But. I'm going to assume he's going to turn back around and go in behind the stuff. Or not. See, when I made these levels, I made them, like, you can make the enemies move a certain pattern, and then you can loop that pattern, so that's kind of cool. It's just been forever since I've played this game, These, well, these levels anyway, so knowing what's coming up is a thing. I like to try to beat these without being spotted, but if I get spotted, it's not too big of a deal. I don't care too much, but except for it'll hurt my ego and make me cry. I was going to say, how did he not see me? Okay, I'm looking for a scroll, I believe. Not one in here. It looks like there would be. There's not. Yeah, this level's like... I know it's like a building, but... I don't know what I was thinking when I was making this. It's kind of cool. Comment down below if you think it's kind of cool. Somebody really close by. They're either in there or they're over here. Okay, I don't know. See, sometimes like with this this editor, like I don't know what it is, but like enemies despawn and spawn like it's weird like because I felt like there would be somebody in there because it, it was it was showing I was sensing somebody like real close earlier and then now all of a sudden nobody's here so that's weird but I know like the editor had like a few like issues yeah this room's wide open Run, 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 run. 
But I really enjoy this. I wish they would have brought this back in newer tenchus, but they didn't. I really love the. Uh, I really love the mission editor. I wish they'd just bring back Tenchu in general, because I miss Tenchu. Oh my goodness. I'm taking a gamble when I just take off running like that, but you know, sometimes I risk it. Okay, I think this is where I have to deliver the scroll. But I don't have the scroll. Mad. And for the people that haven't played Tenchu, that little bar down at the bottom, it's got like the 16 right now and the question mark. That shows like how close I am to somebody. That's like the sense meter. The bigger the question mark, the closer I am to the enemy. So if you see me taking off running like this, that's because I have no question mark down there so I'm not worried about anybody being close and then when the number gets up there it means I'm closing in to somebody somewhere okay I may like locker rooms and stuff I don't really see anything in there Okay, what's this? There's somebody close by. I'm trying to. <laughs> there. There's somebody. Okay, yeah, because I was making a ninja building, right? Well, this is like under construction, so I put like this wall here. Like, you're not supposed to go over here because, like, there's a hole. So, it's under construction, basically. I don't know. I was brainstorming as a kid. Don't uh, don't mind me. I just thought that'd be pretty cool for some reason. Okay, so this guy is not really turning around. I feel like I have to go this way though. Can I like hug this wall? He doesn't like really like turn around. Like, am I supposed to get spotted? Uh, man, stop! I don't want it on the wall. Dang it! No, stop it! I'm trying to squat. I keep getting hung on the wall. Yeah, I'm pretty much spotted at this point. See, when you're close to a wall and you try to squat, you actually get up against the wall. That's what I was actually trying to do. But this guy's like all over me. I'm surprised he's not like walking toward me, you know? I don't know why he's just like chilling like that. I don't know how I'm supposed to get around him. Maybe I made this level where you couldn't get around him or something? Because it looked like he was just kind of like turning like that for some reason. So I don't know. Anyways, like there's no way. I mean, I can go back across that, but that's kind of dangerous. I'm going to try it anyway. Maybe like, maybe he'll lose sight of me. Yeah, like that. Uh, he disappeared. So that's what I'm talking about with a mission editor. Sometimes it gets like glitchy like that. I don't like that, but it helps me out. <laughs> Cause like, I don't know how I was gonna get around him otherwise. Watch him respawn and then get me. Cause that would be, that'd be messed up. So now I've got the scroll, that's cool. So this is like the little under construction area. That's what I call this little spot anyway. In the ninja building. Look, he just reappeared, didn't he? I'm going to try to get out of here because I'm trying not to get spotted. But I'm going to turn around and look. I bet he respawned. Right? Can't really tell. No? Maybe he did. I don't know. I can't see him. But, like, it shows somebody's close by. I don't know why, like, when you may level sometimes, that would happen when you're playing them. Like, an enemy would disappear or something. I mean, I'm not sure why. 
But I really love Tenchu 2, and I love, like, the mission editor. And now I'm trying to remember where to go. I think I just go this way. I think everything is out of my way, so I should be safe. Yeah, everything's gone, so I should be good. Unless I have just some random guy to just, like, spawn. That would be bad. But I think I'm going to beat this without, uh, being spotted. Spotted. I've got it, my lord. The secret message. Excellent. This will save the lives of many innocent people. Well, I may not have got a high score on that level to put my name up there on the board, but I did beat it without being spotted. Now, what I mean by being spotted is because that one guy looked straight at me, right? Well, in Tenchu, it doesn't technically count until they, they're attacking you. Like, when you get the yellow exclamation mark, it kind of means, like, huh? And they're, like, looking, they're like, who is that? You know, they're trying to see who you are. So, technically, he didn't spot me because I was able to get out of there. If he would have started attacking me, then that counts as truly being spotted. That's how this game works. So, he was kind of in caution mode where he's like, I think I see something, but I'm not sure. And I don't know why he didn't, like, try to come toward me. I think he might have been an archer. Maybe that's why. But that was Ninja Building. I beat it. I think I have a few more levels that uh, I've created. So let me know if you'd like to see them as well. I might as well just go ahead and put them all out there. But this level, it was just kind of random. I don't know if it was, like, unfinished or... Or maybe it was finished, but it seemed like it was missing. Missing a little bit of pizzazz compared to my my other levels. Especially by the name, just Ninja Building. I mean, come on, I could do better than that. But, hey, I beat it without being spot, spot, spotted. But, thank you guys and gals so much for watching. I appreciate all the love and support. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Disappeared. So that's what I'm talking about with a mission editor. Sometimes it gets like glitchy like that.